You write and I'll draw. Now, whenever you imagine a beloved picture book, say, The Gruffalo, or We're Going on a Bear Hunt, the ideas that pop into your head are a magical mixture of the author's words and the illustrator's images. Using language and pictures to shape a story is like putting two ingredients in a storybook potion. Bang! It makes something incredible. Take The Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Did you know in his early sketches, Axel gave the mouse clothes and made the Gruffalo really scary. It was only by working together that they came up with the Graf Gruffalo we know today. How about Quentin Blake and Roald Dahl? When developing the BFG, Roald Dahl posted one of his sandals to Quentin Blake to show him what the giant's footwear should really look like. Or look at Alice in Wonderland. Lewis Carroll wrote the words and drew his own Alice in the original handwritten manuscript. But John Tenniel gave Alice her fabulous dress with its puffed sleeves and white pinafore. In Look Up, Nathan Bryan dreamt up a young girl who's obsessed with stars, planets and meteors. But it was Dapo Adiola's illustrations that brought her to life, giving us a powerful impression of her wild, sharp, unstoppable mind. Of course, I wrote down the words for we're going on a bear hunt, but I never said who was going on the bear hunt. Helen Oxenbury made that decision, and you can follow each of the characters through the story. So we want you to get into pairs, put your pens together, and work collaboratively on your own picture book.